Imagine a system. It could be an app or a website. In this system, clients send requests to a server which then responds. Sounds simple, right? But what happens when there are too many clients? When numerous clients request a server simultaneously, it becomes overloaded and yes, it can crash. You might think, why not just get better server? Well, let's talk about it. This approach known as vertical scaling involves upgrading to a more powerful server. But there's a catch. There's only so much you can upgrade before the cost outweighs the benefit. So what's the alternative? Enter horizontal scaling. This means adding more servers to handle the load instead of just making one server bigger and stronger. With horizontal scaling, we can distribute the traffic across multiple servers. But this leads to a new question. How do we manage which server handle which requests? And that's where load balancer comes into play. The load balancer sits between the clients and servers, intelligently distributing client requests across all servers. It ensures no single server is overwhelmed, maintaining the efficiency and the reliability of the system. It's like a traffic cop for web traffic. Now the question is how load balancer distributes a request among servers. Well, let's look at them one by one. First up, random distribution. It's like a lucky draw. Each request is randomly assigned to a server. It's simple and straightforward. Next we have round robin. Imagine a merry-go-round. The first server gets the first request, then it moves to the next and so on and so on and so on. After the last server, it's back to the first one again. Then comes weighted round robin. It is also like round robin. First server gets the first request, but some servers are made stronger. Here stronger servers with more weight gets more requests. It's all about balancing capability with demand. Now we have load based redirection. What if some servers has more load and other servers are less loaded? Over here, you can see that the server 2 and 4 has more load than 1 and 3, represented by the dotted lines. In this method, load balancer smartly sends traffic to the server with the lightest load. It's like queues in supermarket. You always pick the queues where there are least people. In this way, no server is overloaded. Then comes hash based distribution. Here the client's IP is used to decide where to send the request. It's like having a personalized server route based on your IP address. You might be thinking, what's the point of it? Sometimes your clients will have their data stored temporarily in a cache of a specific server. Now you won't get those data if the requests are sent to any other server. That's why we use IP-based server selection. Your IP will go to load balancer. Then it will generate a hash. Based on that, it will select which server should receive this request. Lastly, we have path based distribution. In this type of load balancer, different types of requests will have different servers assigned to it. For example, over here, payment, user, info, and data routes are going to different servers. It does not depend which clients are sending those requests. So, what's the use of it? Suppose some of your routes are requested more than others. So on the basis of that, you can configure which servers should be bigger and which ones should be smaller. Some routes may have multiple servers assigned to it, whereas some may only have one. Well, enough with the theory. Now let's look at some code. Over here, we have a flask app, which we are running on localhost. We have created one single route, and in that route, we are printing the port number. Here we have nginx configuration file. Don't worry about all these configuration details. We have set up a round robin load balancer with three ports. So the first request will go to port 5000, the second one will go to 5001, the third one will go to 5002. The localhost is running on port 82. Now let's see it in action. Over here, we are running our servers on three ports as mentioned in the configuration file. Here we are using curl to request localhost. 
we will use 12 requests in this for loop. When we hit enter, you will see each server has got 4 requests according to round robin method. Now let's look at an example of weighted round robin. For that in the nginx configuration file, I have added weight parameter. 5000 will have weight 3, for 5001 the weight will be 2 and for 5002 the weight will be 1. Again we are making 12 requests using curl. Let's run it and see the result. As you can see the load balancer has sent 6 requests to server 5000. 4 requests to port 5001 and 2 for port 5002 as we mentioned in our nginx file. So here we have it guys, understanding load balancer. I hope I have helped you in understanding the concept. See you next time.